Welcome to Tiny Room Stories Town Mystery, the demo for this game that will release later this year. Um, well, here I'm going to give my first impressions to the game. Uh, first off, it looks like a lovely animated uh, little area. Uh, I, I really don't know what to expect. Let's just press the play button and see what happens. Now let's first look what the settings are in this game. Graphics, high obviously. Sound and music, alright. Lots of languages to your liking. I'll just stick with English. Let's go, play, see what happens. You are a private detective. Having received a letter from your father in which he asked you to come urgently, you went to a nearby town. What could have happened to him? It turned out that the road to the city was blocked by a traffic control barrier. Tap to continue. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Need to find a remote control. Click on the window with the left mouse button. I can do that. Nobody in there. Need to get in somehow. Drag the cursor left or right while holding. Ah, you can turn around. The door is locked. Let's pick up a pipe. Select item. BAM! Open the door with force. Left click on the door. Ah, we go inside. Locations can be rotated. Do not forget. Alright. What's in here? It's a closet. It's empty. It is empty. What's in here? It looks broken. There we go. We need tools, obviously. What's in the desk? We could turn the coffee maker around, nothing in there. What about the drawers? Nothing interesting. Pill bottles. Pills, pills. I I see that. What's in the other drawers? Toilet paper? Okay. A key. Ah, a key. Always useful. Let's go back. What's on this desk? Newspaper? Nope. Folder? Obviously. Business notes? Nope. Nothing here. Papers? Ah, here we go. An item that can be inspected. The password to log in. 2134. Alright. Let's use the computer. There's no power. Let's not use the computer. Telephone, obviously. Can I do something with the key here? No, probably not. No, no, no. Any tools? Where do I get tools? Here's another cabinet. Let's look in there. A toolbox. Tools. Lovely. All right. Let us use the tools on the power box. Use tools. Power box. It's fixed. Turn it back on. Close the door. Not necessary. Okay, let's go back to the desk. Nothing behind the monitors. Okay, let's look in front of the monitors. What was it again? 2134. 2134. What? They changed it? Ooh. How do I find out what it is? Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nope. There's a note underneath the keyboard. Here we go. 2134. The password's been changed around. So this goes there. So 2 goes there. 4 goes there. 2, 4. No. 1, 4, 2, 3. 1, 4, 2, 3. 1, 4, 2, 3. Yes. All right. Instagram. Oh, it actually opens the Instagram page on my other screen of the game developers. That's a funny Easter egg. Email. From Mr. Rats. Important. Ban travel in and out of the city must be in place while the experiment is carried out. All right. So there's an experiment going. Break to die. Commute. What's here? Notes. Roof padlock password see there we go more useful information three five six nine for the roof padlock 
What's this? Open the gate. Disabled. Alright. What's this? It's empty. Games, Facebook, uh, there's probably more socials for. No network. Nope. Alright. Roof padlock. Let's go to the roof then. We probably need to use this ladder. There we go. The roof padlock code was 3569. 3569. There we go. Let's go. What's on the roof? Button. Let's open it. Closed. Wires and pipes. Let's not touch them. That makes sense. That one's closed. What does the button do? Nothing. But if this thing opens, why can we not use it? Solar panels? No. There has to be something here. But what about the key? Ah, it fits. Lovely. What's in here? The purple thing's broken. Has to go in there. Bam. But what did this activate? It goes downwards. Let's go outside and see where the purple thing leads. It goes to the gate. Yes, it powers the gate. Now we can use the computer to open the gate. The road is clear. Time to go to the car. The barrier is up. Return to the car to complete the level. Let us do exactly that. There we go. And that is the tutorial to this game. Chapter 1. The beginning of the journey. So as you can see, the first impressions in this introduction of the game, it's, it's, it's like an escape room. But you have to, um, oh, it's, it's not like an escape room, but it is like an escape room. What happens here? When driving through the city, you have not met a single person. The city seems empty. So does the house where you were asked to come. Right. Item found. Ladder. Something on the roof. We might use a ladder. There we go. Found a key in the mailbox. Wait, can I enter the window? No, it's closed. Does the key work on the window? No. Does the key work on the front door? No, it's open. What happened here? Exactly, what happened here? Let's take a look here. There's a book, a red book. And a pile of other books. Brown books, a green book. No, no. The red book goes in the red cabinet. Some books are missing. Really? Some books are missing. We probably need to put books on all the shades. There seems to be something behind the couch. Let's make a turn for it. There is something behind the couch. What can I use to cut this patch? There's a book over there. Okay, light switch. Doesn't do anything. No. What about this door? It's closed. Let's look in the drawers. There's something in here. A red key. And what's in here? Uh, a code of some sort. Close. Nope. More books. These are not folded. Close. A green book. Right. Nope, no, no. I need more for that. Maybe the painting moves. It doesn't. That door is also closed. Let's use the key. Does it work? No. Does the key work on this door? Yes, it does. Let's go in. The bedroom. There's a remote here. And another book. What's in here? Empty. Screwdriver. Lovely. And nothing. What about the bed? Nothing in the bed. Turn around. 
Uh, these are all closed. Let's use a remote on the TV. I need a code of some sort, which I do not have. What's in here? A red book. Another red book. The light switch doesn't work. I can look in here. I can use a screwdriver on these screws. Yes, I can. Pick up the light. Here we go. Oh no, I can turn it off. What does that do? It doesn't do anything. Let's put those books. I still don't have all the books. What about this painting? Nothing. And that one didn't do anything. The door still closed. Two red books. Bam, bam. Alright. What about the green books? One, two, three. Still missing some books. The light switch. The light does go off. Let's go into the bedroom. Ooh, with the lights off, it shows some images. What is this? Z? No. Triangle, a plus. Pause sign. What do these things mean? Nothing's doing anything. That is weird. Nothing in the bed. Nope. Let's go back into the kitchen. I said back into the kitchen. I haven't been here yet. Here's another book. Here's a, an empty pan. A drawer. Nothing in there. What about this? I'm not a raccoon. Obviously. Fridge. Pizza. Sausage. Some cans. Oh, I can drink everything. Nothing in the oven. Ah! Here, here are the keys for the other puzzle. Left, right, down, left. Left, right, down, left. Let's go into the other room again. For the left, right, down, left puzzle in here. Left, right, down, left. There, a gun! Illumination is important. TV channels. Okay. Two, three, four, two, one. Doesn't make sense. Five, six, three, three, four, two, two, one, five, six. This doesn't make sense. What about the gun? Can't do anything with the gun. Alright, let's go back into the kitchen. Anything on the table? Ah, here we go. Does this make sense using the symbols in the bedroom? Uh, bam, bam, bam. It doesn't. Maybe from left to right. No. I need the bedroom symbols for this one. Does the maybe I need to use the TV because I do have the remote now. Two, three, four should do something. Two drawers open. Two and one. Ah, two and one. So one is the pause sign. And two is the triangle, or the other way around. To get three and four, we need five, six, three. For three and four is the plus and the square. And the other one was two, two, one, which gives us the Z and the square again. And the Z and the square again. All right, let's go into the kitchen to open the laptop, which was not in the kitchen. Let's go into uh, this room. No, wait, I'm lost. Bedroom? No. Kitchen. 
No. Where'd the laptop go? Oh, it went in my inventory. Lol. Uh, let's see. So, this, 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 this. Yes, there we go. And we need to move the books around. Okay. What's in the mail? It's empty. Okay. Notes. Empty. YouTube. No. Empty. No network. So this is what we need. 5-3 for the books. Does that make any sense? Anything in these cupboards? A jug, nothing of interest. No, nope. cleaning agent, cleaning agent, no. Nope. Found a knife. Ah, a knife so I can uh, cut in the back of this thing. Here we go. Use the knife here. And there's the last red book. So let's put all the books back into the bookcase. There we go. And there we go. And now we need the information from the laptop. Let's see. 533562. 5335. Six, two. And for red, what do we need for the red one? Four, four. Uh, let's just remember the left uh, side. Four, one, seven. Four, one, seven. There we go. It looks like something has opened the door here. Crowbar. The hatch to the attic is locked. Some skid marks over here. Let's make a turn for it. Picture frames. Picture is missing, obviously. Blocked. Okay, what do I do with the crowbar? Something outside. Nothing of interest. Okay. Maybe I can open the attic window with a crowbar. Yes, I can. What's in here? The missing painting. There should be a basement in the house. Let's put the missing painting up there. Now we have to hang them all straight, probably. There we go. Let's drain the water level. Lots of papers here. Everything's blurred. I don't need to do it. Okay, what's in the boxes? Nothing, nothing. There's a desk here and a picture. 1901.85. That looks useful. There we go, it's a safe. 1901.85. Key to the bank deposit box. Time to go to the car. Alright. It is time to go to the car. So let's do that. Keep on driving. End of the demo version. There we go. In only little under 20 minutes we have finished the demo version. You've seen what this game is like. Tiny room stories. Get it when it's out. It's an amazing little puzzler. Um, well, you've seen it. It's like an escape room. 
solve puzzles, find codes, find keys. That is what it is. Hopefully, I will see you in more puzzling videos and I will catch you the next time on my YouTube channel. Like the video if you think it was informative and of course, get this game, Tiny Room Stories. Remember the name. I will catch you next time. Thank you.